Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another Brad Trick video when the sun is on. Magic sun. Maybe if I stand right. I look like a let us stand right here and talk. That's not gonna work. Anyways, sorry, I can't do anything about that. I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. Let's try it this way. Alright. So I had a I watched the movie the other night. I've been wanting to watch it for a while. Um but I just didn't feel the need to really want to watch it. Um, I'm glad I did. It was actually a really good movie. And I heard so much crap about this movie before, that's why I never checked it out. Um, but it was called The Boy. It was on uh, Netflix, and it's currently on there right now. It's been on there for a while. It's probably going to be on there for a while. To be honest, it's probably not one. It's probably going to be in the $5 bin at Walmart. I'm assuming, like, coming soon to a Walmart bin near you. Um, so it's not something that's going to be like, I don't think anybody's going to look back and go, that was a tremendous movie that I'll never forget. But it's also not a movie that, once you give it a couple watches, I think that it'll be respected more and it'll be actually a pretty good movie. Now, I, I don't know if, I think Maggie is what her name was in Walking Dead. I totally blank out on actors' names and things like that. Um, but it's her that plays the main one of the main characters in the movie. And I kind of heard what the ending was, so I kind of knew what was coming, but I didn't know how it was going to come, how the movie was going to come to come together but you know the boy was actually a pretty good movie if you haven't checked it out definitely sit down watch it and um you know you know see it for yourself because i think it's not that bad of a movie it's kind of creepy and if you don't know the ending which i knew the ending and i still enjoy the movie so if you don't know the ending you'll probably it probably will be a letdown for you honestly because i heard a lot of people that knew the ending were kind of let down that it was kind of I'm going to say this, and I'm not going to spoil anything, but it's nothing magical. I will say that. Nothing magical, never, nothing supernatural. Um, it's just something extremely creepy. I will say that. Um, but the movie was pretty good all in all, and I recommend you checking out The Boy. Uh, it's basically about this girl who gets called out to be kind of, I guess, the nanny to take care of a child. Um... They don't really call her an Annie, though. I think they call her the caretaker, um, pretty much, of the family. I think that's what they kind of call her, pretty sure. Um, and there's also a guy that does a grocery shopping who, you know, he ends up being a big part of the story as well, because um, he ends up kind of, him and the girl end up kind of falling for each other, kind of, sort of. Never really, like, fully embrace, I don't think. I think they do once or twice in the movie, but for the most part, it's, you know, nothing major and nothing's really made of it. Um, but you know, she, she goes to, to meet the family and to take care of the family and the little boy ends up being a doll and it's kind of creepy and you know, everybody's making jokes about it and they're all making jokes about it and you know, all this and, and then creepy things start happening like, uh, and, and even the mother, like they, they talk about all this stuff about, uh, you know, why she started caring for this doll and everything like that and nothing really was explained fully, like in this movie, once you find out the ending, still, like, nothing is explained fully. Like, I kind of hope they make another movie so they explain it a little more. Uh, I'm not, I can't really give anything away, but they couldn't, they could make a prequel to this, to be completely honest, to say how it got to that point, um, without giving anything away. It's kind of hard to explain some of this movie without getting stuff away, but I don't do this, I don't want to do a spoiler video because I don't think it's worth that really for this movie but like I said it, it's really really worth it she goes she cares for the doll but then she starts like neglecting the doll when the parents go out of town and they're extremely old they're probably like in their 70s 80s they're yeah they're probably in their 60s 70s so they're they're really really up there they're they all they all have gray hair they may be in their 70s and it's kind of weird that they have a little boy and they're trying to take care of it and they're saying you have to do this, 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 or he'll get mad and he might do things. That's where, you know, the creepiness kind of fits in. And then she kind of neglects the doll and things start happening. You know, things get broken um, and so forth. Her shoes get stolen when she immediately gets there. Uh, you know, he, I guess he's kind of a troublemaker at times, they say. And, and then, you know, things start to happen. And that's where the creepiness comes to the fact that it's a doll. So how is he doing these things? And she kind of writes it off you know, for, for half the movie, and then things really do pick up, and, um, you know, things start, and she kind of starts to give in to the novelty that, oh, there is something going on in this house, there is something going on with this boy, 
you know, he, he can move. He just doesn't want to move when watched. So that's where I'm going to stop talking about the movie right there. But the movie, like I said, it's pretty good. Like, if you, you sit down and watch it, and if you don't know the ending, if you watch somebody other's other review, review this movie, most likely they're going to give it away. Um, and you might get a better understanding going into this movie. Um, but overall, if you don't know the ending, you might be let down. Just go into this movie knowing that it's not supernatural. Just telling you right now. But just go in the movie just and watch it. Have an entertaining time. And no, this is not the greatest movie of all time. It's more of a thriller. It, it's, it's that kind of a movie. And um, like I said, it was interesting. You know, it came out pretty recently. I think a couple years ago it came out. And it was actually one that people I thought was pretty creeped out by. It. And Annabelle came out around this time, I think, too. So, you know, they're trying to all play up on that. But, you know, like I said, it had nothing to do with that. So it really wasn't the same thing. Um, so, but as, but as I said, you know, it's a, it's a decent movie. You should check it out if you like horror movies. This is the one to kind of check out. It's kind of creepy and uh, has Maggie from The Walking Dead. So if you're a Walking Dead fan, you'll be pleasantly surprised, which is surprised when you turn it on and see her. You'll be like, hey. Um, and she does not, she's not too bad. I think they could have picked a better actress and it probably would have went a longer way in being a better movie. But, you know, she didn't do bad. I actually, now thinking back, I don't know if I can picture anybody else in this role. Because she does a really good job. I just think someone else could have had, I guess, a little bit more scream in the acting part, or could have played it a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still kind of thinking about that. Whether she was the right pick for the actress for the movie, um, you know, I think she's more of a strong female, not someone who should be like in a scream type of movie like this. It's more of a movie where there should have been more of a screaming from the female, like freaked out by what was going on and it seemed like she wasn't like as freaked out as what she should have been um by things happening so that's more like qualm with the movie really other than that not as bad as what people said it was i thought it was pretty interesting the end of the movie was when it, everything happens at the end of the movie it's kind of jumpy and it seems like they did things that didn't make sense like why would you do certain things to put yourself in harm's way when you know you could just go another way this doesn't make sense for me. Um, and like I said, if you watch the movie, you understand what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, The Boy was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Um, and I definitely look forward to seeing what other people think about it. And definitely watching some other reviews about The Boy and see what people actually thought about it. Um, and like when I do movie reviews, like I said, I don't do it over the most newest movies. I, I do it over movies pretty much that are on Netflix. Like a check out, flip up, uh, and put reviews online. And this is the easiest way. You know, I can go through Hulu and go through Netflix. If I happen to buy a DVD, which I don't do very often, uh, you know, it's been one, I'm not going to buy a DVD just to buy a DVD. It's going to be something that I really, really like and enjoy if I buy a DVD. So, uh, I was happily surprised by this movie. It wasn't as bad as what people thought, so definitely worth checking out. But check it out, the movie. If you've seen it already below, leave a comment. If you've already seen the movie, uh, leave a comment down below what you thought about the boy. If you haven't seen the boy, go over to Netflix, check it out if it's still on there. If not, check it on a, maybe rent it or check it out some other way and uh, let me know what you thought about it down below as well and don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and notification bell to see more videos like this i do put a content pretty good i used to be really good about being daily i've been kind of slacking lately but i'm going to try and get back on the train right there once we get back on the train everything can go rolling smooth uh if you watch my toe you know what's going on there's a baby in my life now that's all you need to know anyways like, comment, subscribe, all the good jazz. Keep you guys together, keep rocking, and keep on watching movies. Yeah.